Hello, people. I have put a new tool up on GitHub, and this is a quick tutorial explaining uh, what it does. That tool is under the label currently of ComfyUI Daru, as in James True, uh, shortened to save you from having to type. Uh, you will see a link in the description. This is strictly for uh, ComfyUI to be installed as a custom node. And it allows you to turn a YouTube video, or the transcript of a YouTube video, I should say, into a promptable animated diff, or diff for stable diffusion, which allows you to uh, create animations that look like this. Now, this is what you're looking at is base, no prompts. All I'm doing is just telling YouTube uh, or asking YouTube for the episode of The Muppet Show and it is taking the transcript from The Muppet Show and it is feeding it into Stable Diffusion and, and giving you something uh, like this. There are uh, very little keywords added here. I wanted to just strictly see what the what what was just spoken with no other prompts except for what the transcript said. In fact, uh, you could maybe even visualize yourself how this is a movie about it's time to start the music. It's time to let the lights, right? It's time to get things started. Why don't you get things started? All, all of this story is actually told in front of you on the movie that you're, that you're watching on the screen. Um, this is running 4,000 frames long because I just wanted to see how long I could actually uh, sustain a diff. And so this is uh, uh, the longest, so uh, it, it's really lost track of the entire Muppet Show theme. But you'll notice when it repeats that it clearly is showing you the tale of putting makeup on, of preparing for a show, of, of, of the entire, basically, Muppet Show theme. And so you can download this tool uh, using GitHub. You can uh, install it in your custom nodes folder and, uh, and you could do the very same thing. And I'll show you a quick workflow for how that works. Uh, we've got, uh, Mupp nope, I'm gonna do actually, I know it said Muppet Show, but I actually wanna do Electric Mayhem first. And so uh, we have, the electric mayhem workflow here loaded up and this is completely standard out of the box animated diff layout that I've created the only thing that I did differently uh, was for my batch prompt schedule I turned the text which you normally would see as a as a list I turned a text into an input node and I fed the input node from this new tool that I'm telling you about called YouTube to prompt. And so you place the YouTube address inside the video ID, you set your frames per second, and you set what begin frame. If you want to like start the animation later on in the transcript, you would, you would do so here. There's a caching feature so you don't uh, spam YouTube. So when you, when you run this, now this one has prompts, uh, um, because I did run some tests on the Muppet Show itself, uh, and those were cute too. This is just a, a tiny example of one of those things that came up, right? But I, I, I took them out just because I was just curious. I love to watch Stable Diffusion just tell its own, move, move by itself, basically. But... But with the, with the simple theme of just Muppet Show first, you, it actually understands because of the transcript that it's time, look, here's a clock, it's time to start the music, and this is all, this is music, right? It's time to dress up right. And so it, it's time to start the music. This one came because I was doing a test, right? All of you guys know this, that you'll set your, your total frames down to something lower. And so that frame only printed out, what was it about? Uh, oh, okay, I've already changed this, but it was like maybe 30 frames is all you're seeing right there versus this this other movie right here, right? This is 4,000 frames. Again, running from the uh, same transcript. However, there's no Muppet Show keywords. So you get an opportunity to see, start the show. Look, someone's getting uh, dressed for dancing right there. The most sensational, inspirational, celebrational, muppetational. The, you know, this is this is where we call the Muppet Show. 
And honestly, that analogy fits for for so much more than just uh, just comfy UI. So uh, that is all I got to say. You can uh, download that on GitHub. I already told you that. You'll check out the links. Have a great day. And good good luck uh, with your YouTube stuff. Oh, I will notice there's, I will mention, there's one more thing in the tool. There's a simple text to image. It's allowing you to maybe add captions to the video, but I'm, I'm working on that. And I got a, a lot. To, oh, wait, here's, right here's where, look, put on makeup. It's time to put on makeup. It's time to dress up right, right? And now Fozzie Bear comes out. This is actually the stable diffusions getting fuzzy bear and everyone's laughing. And then it just goes all, okay, well, now there's a cat, right? Who, who knows, right? Cool stuff though, right? So uh, with the tool, you could just plug in any YouTube video. You uh, uh, feed it into the workflow that you see there and uh, you're all set to go. I will put this workflow on with GitHub too. So you'll have the example. You can just kind of run it out of the box. Sometimes you will hit... I guess I did have more to say. Sometimes you will hit a, a video that doesn't have a transcript and it'll error out, so it's no problem. Uh, it's it just give it a different video ID. So uh, so I just wanted you to know that if it doesn't work, it could be that there's no transcript available for that video itself. So have a wonderful day. <laughs>